Look at somebody and say, I am unstoppable. Whatever you thought you lost, whatever is taken from you, God will compensate you. All things work together for good to those who are called according to his what? Purpose. All things. May your life attract people that have something to do with your destiny. We are in a world that is hasting to destruction. And the only thing that can save us is his presence. Can I hear somebody say his presence? That is the only thing. And ladies and gentlemen, Moses' life changed from that moment. He had instruction. It is in the place of divine encounter, in the place of supernatural manifestation of his presence that you will hear instruction. The scripture says you will hear a voice behind you telling you which way to go. And God sent him to where he didn't want to go. Ladies and gentlemen, out of 68 years, I'm preaching for 45 years now. I've not dropped the microphone. That was not the reason I That was not my plan. That was not my vision. That was not what I wanted to do. But when you encounter God, the reason why you were born will be given to you. Can I hear somebody say amen? If I didn't heed to that word, I wonder where you will be. And I wonder where I would be. But how did I encounter him? I sought for him. Seek God. You will find him. Seek him. He will locate you. Lift up your right hand. Say, Lord. I can't hear you. Say, Lord. Here am I. Use me. Say, Lord. Here am I. Use me. Say, Lord. Here am I. Wherever you send me, I will go. Lord, show me the reason why you saved me. Show me. Somebody say, Amen. When you encounter the supernatural, your lifestyle will change. You can't continue this way. No. The songwriter says, Things are different now. Something happened to me. When I gave my life to Jesus. Things I loved before have passed away. Things I love far more have come to stay. Things are different now. Something happened to me when I gave my life to G. That is a man that has encountered God. 
He said, things I loved so much, they are gone. But the things that never pay attention, the things I didn't want to get involved with, they are the ones that attract my attention. The first place of encounter is when we give our lives to Jesus. When we give our totality, not just answering utter call, but when we give our totality. For he knows our hearts. He knows our spirit. He knows what is in us. One of the things that comes when you encounter God is joy unspeakable. When you encounter the supernatural, joy you cannot explain. Peace that passes all understanding. Pleasure forevermore. Healing, favors, mercies, wisdom. When you encounter God, you encounter miracles. When you encounter him, you encounter the source of prosperity. When you encounter God, you encounter the source of protection. You encounter the source of speed in life. You encounter him that gives idea to succeed. You encounter him that gives you contacts and gives you opportunities. And bring fruitfulness out of nothing. You encounter him that gives you breakthrough. Unusual lifting becomes your portion. That is what happens when you encounter the supernatural. May I speak to you this morning and say, everything I have mentioned will be your portion in the month of May. Every hidden destiny helper be made visible in the name of Jesus. I've come to announce to somebody that the season of celebration has just started. May your life attract people that have something to do with your destiny. This week, this week, a week of testimony unlimited testimony somebody shout and receive it let me mention a few activators of divine encounter one of the things that activates that makes it easy and possible for you to encounter this God. Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 5. Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 5. And thou shall love the Lord thy God. With all thy what? Thy heart. And with all thy soul. And with all thy what? Thy mind, the love of God will provoke you to his presence. Because if you love him, the next thing that follows, the next activator is obedience to him. You cannot obey him and not encounter him. If you love him, you say, love God with all your heart. Love him with all your soul. Love him with everything that you have. Then if you love him, you will trust him. If you trust him, you will obey him. Why there is so much disobedience among people who claim to be Christians is because don't love God. This 
love is beyond loving God because of what he's going to do for you. Friend, listen to me. God is not doing anything for you because of you want it. He's doing it for you because he loves you so much. David said, if God should consider iniquity, nobody will stand in his presence. Can you reciprocate the love that he has shown you on daily basis? Daily, he loves you. Because he loves you, he has kept you. You are not living because you choose to live. You are living because he wants you to live. Because he has a purpose for your coming. Because he has planned, he has plans for your life that has not yet manifested. You didn't come by accident. You are here on purpose. You are God's calculations. It doesn't matter the family you come from. You are God's calculations. And he's still working on you. You are a project in his hand. He has not finished. Love him. If you're writing and I say, Lord, I love you. I wish you can say that from yourself. Somebody say, Lord. I love you. Somebody say, Lord. I love you. The next activator of supernatural encounter is thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Men who are grateful to God will encounter God. Men who are full of thanks in spite of all, they are full of thanks. Gratitude to God brings God's presence to where you are. Thanking him that you still breathe the air. Thanking him because you are still living. Not because you have everything. But because you have a father that has everything. Who loves you so much. That he gave his only begotten son. And the Bible said there is nothing he can withhold from those who love him. In Genesis chapter 4 verse 3. When Abel brought thanksgiving unto God. He encountered God. He encountered the supernatural. And God favored him. Thanksgiving. In 2 Chronicles chapter 1, when Solomon brought a thousand burnt offering to God's altar, he encountered God. That was where life changed. His life changed. And God said, what do you want? Why are you thanking me so much? Solomon said, I don't even know which way to go. I don't know how to rule these people. I wasn't qualified. 
But grace has brought me this far. But I don't know my way. Can you show me my way? I need wisdom. That's all. God said, I'll give you wisdom. And I give you more than you ask for. In the place of encounter, you receive more than you ask for.